Germany is betting on renewable energy. By 2050, 80% of the country's electricity needs are supposed to be supplied by renewables. A visionary plan, but it still has some glaring weak spots. What happens when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing? Will the country run into power supply problems? There has to be a way to store energy generated by wind turbines and solar arrays. In huge batteries, perhaps? Researchers are looking at many options, but storage potential is limited by physics. This container houses technology that could provide a solution to the problem of large-scale energy storage. Ulrich Zuberbuller from the Centre for Solar Energy and Hydrogen Research has high hopes for it. What's innovative is the method. You take the electricity that you can't store and convert it into an energy-rich compound like natural gas. Then you can keep it for long periods of time. The concept that the researchers are testing here is called power to gas. It works like this. Using electrical power, a chemical process known as electrolysis is set in motion. That breaks down water into its two constituent elements, oxygen and hydrogen. Then carbon dioxide is added to the free hydrogen. The two react and produce a substance that is used in stoves and power plants all over the world, methane or natural gas. The reactions that create the methane are controlled in a neighbouring building. This chemicals facility is unique because it can be started and stopped quickly in up to 15 minutes. Conventional chemical plants typically take much longer to gear up and shut down. In converting power to gas, however, operators have to be able to react fast. When there's too much power in the grid, then you have to turn the plant on quickly. And when there's too little, you have to shut it back down so that there's more electricity available to the grid. Up until now, we haven't been able to meet those challenges. That's why we're working on making the technology able to cope with the demands of the near future. Even so, around 30% of the generated power is lost in converting electrical energy into chemical energy. That sounds like a lot, but the researchers say it's worth it, since the only alternative is to turn off the turbines and solar arrays when production is too high. This is a good approach because you can't save the electricity. First you go to great lengths to produce power with renewable technologies, but when they produce too much, you have to turn them off. This is how we can change that. It's true that there are losses when we turn the energy generated with renewable resources into fuel, which is chemical energy. But at least then it isn't lost completely. An old gas storage plant still stands in front of the new research facility, a reminder that the infrastructure for transporting and storing methane is already in place. This one could hold many tons of the fuel. Methane is a fuel that's easy to store, and in Germany we have excellent infrastructure for transporting it. We have huge underground storage reservoirs where we would be able to store large amounts of the gas for months at a time. In power plants like this one, the stored natural gas can then be burned to produce electricity when it's needed. Modern natural gas power plants are the ideal complement to environmentally friendly energy production, closing the cycle that begins with the conversion of the power into gas. The power to gas system would boost the effectiveness of Germany's switch to renewables, because power production would no longer be tied to the vagaries of the wind and sun.